Welcome back to another installment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week, where in this video I will be talking about the Kahasu Shag, large extinct seabirds that were slightly smaller than their living relatives, the King Shag. I hope you enjoy. New Zealand today is a centre for shags and cormorants globally, with 13 living species known to inhabit its coastlines. Even more though were known to live in the country, though are now extinct, and one such bird was described in 2017. Up in Northland, where the find had been made, Fossil shag bones had been known from the area for decades, but the existence of a unique extinct species there was not suspected, given that many of them were thought to belong to the still living king shag. After additional research on them, it was found that hiding in plain sight was an entirely unique species, which was determined through examinations of the shape of their bones, that, and also comparing their ancient DNA to museum specimens with the DNA of the king shag. They were given the name of the Kohasu shag, with Kohasu meaning from the Stone Age before our time and the species name of Septentrionalis, referring to them being the northernmost member of the shag genus Leucocarbo. The bones, being a few thousand years old, do indeed reveal a good amount on at least their general morphology. These birds were large, though not quite as big as the related king shag, also being more grosser in proportion. The coloration of the king shags, being blackish above and white below, is also something that also likely tracks to the Kahatu shags as well, given their close relation. Found only north on sand dunes, this suggests that they were never all that abundant, perhaps having a very restricted distribution, though this is hard to know for certain. Nothing about their breeding is known, though they no doubt, like many of their relatives, were colonial nesters, laying a clutch of about two to three eggs. Nothing specific is known of the behaviour or ecology of the Kahati shag, but it is quite interesting that these four Leucocarbo shags, that all occurred on mainland New Zealand, had their own discrete geographic distributions. This suggests that all of these species have poor levels of dispersal and prefer to keep to small habitats, which proved to be, in the case of the Kahasu shags, their downfall. They were likely quickly killed off by early Maori settlers, and would have surely been a valuable resource given their size. Their resulting extinction further highlights the dramatic impacts people and introduced mammals have on New Zealand's coastal and marine biodiversity, also showing how today, given how king shags, the closest relatives to them, are now also very rare, we must do our utmost to protect them. And with that, I thank you for watching this instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week. For next time, you'll now be able to vote for the yellow-crowned parakeets, small and noisy parrots which spend much of their time high in a forest canopy. With that, I'll see you next time, whenever that may be.